I am. Jason Abraham, the shadow teacher, 33. And you ever hear that phrase, never let the truth get in the way of a good story. And I just got back from the Crystal Coast. Wonderful weekend of meditating, of just reconnecting with nature. And it was a weekend of something very spectacular in the sky. Now, I'm always one to do CE5s and cast my consciousness up in the stars, up hopes that something is going to answer me back. And I went out at dusk, and again, this is the date, September 24th, and I see this rocket, looks like a rocket, shooting up over the ocean. I knew it wasn't a plane because the, the tail had like the serpentine-like shape. And as the, the rocket started to rise, I saw these little particles coming out of the tail of the rocket, little light particles. And I'm thinking, wow. We're getting visitation again. My CE5 has worked. And the rocket continued to rise, went right over me. And then I saw this orange glow appear and, and vanish just like that. And I was like, whoa, UFOs are back. This is like very similar to my first sighting experience. The only difference is I'm not like getting buzzing in my head or ringing in my ears, but some of the, the of what I'm seeing looks similar and then I see like a flashing light off in the distance like blinking up in the sky and uh, I talked to a good friend and she sees it too and our minds go off onto uh, a tale an epic tale an epic tale of war, of interdimensional beings stopping a war, and a call for humanity to wake up and rise up to greater potential. Now, that I think is a much better story than the truth, which is that was a SpaceX launch, and a launch that was there to, I guess, put Starlink up so internet can be all over the world. But, are we actually that far off? Is this actually part of a, a control grid having these satellites surround the planet Earth? All these new digital frequencies are going to beam down is this not similar to the prediction, again, of Rudolf Steiner of what the eighth sphere, the Aramonic eighth sphere, was going to be something like this, this grid around the planet that beams frequencies that alter the perception of humanity. Who knows? All that I do know is the frame, the meaning that we assign phenomena shapes our reality. It shapes our perception. And whatever we see, when we see something great, something spectacular, it pulls our awareness out of the mundane, pulls us into something greater. And maybe Starlink is going to be a great thing for humanity, or maybe not. We shall see. But our perception, our delusions, our imagination, they can be a great strength or 
a great detriment depending on what we do with them. And I'm grateful to have, have witnessed the SpaceX launch. I thought that was pretty awesome seeing that. I'm also grateful to have experienced genuine UFOs up in the sky. And regardless with all this going on, new expansion of consciousness and perception is upon us. New awareness is going to be upon us and humanity will be moving in a direction of this expanded perception whether it be an organic line or one that is fused with artificial intelligence mechanization there will be an expansion and a change in human consciousness maybe we'll see both but the future is very exciting and the times we're living in are very exciting we are living indeed in a great transition of time so with that being said I'm going to end this transmission be well hope your imagination and your perception is vivid and is growing fruit in your life I'll see you on the other side